The News for Jack's I team is investigating concerns over six local bridges. They are part of the reason Florida's infrastructure got a C grade from the White House as President Biden tries to convince Congress to pass a $2 trillion spending plan. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott is joining us live from an intersection in Lakewood to show us what he's learned about our troubled local bridges. Jim? You know, Tom, if you've ever driven down this segment of San Jose, and you may not realize you're actually crossing a bridge at this area near University in Lakewood. But one group is now saying this is one of the worst bridges in the state. There are hundreds of bridges in North Florida, but this one near San Jose and University is considered structurally deficient. It doesn't mean it's falling apart. It's just a way of saying it needs work. It's a term used by the American Society for Civil Engineers. The group ranked problematic Florida bridges, like these two bridges in Jacksonville, which Sky 4 flew over today along I-95. They crossed the Nassau River on the north side. There are other bridges the group described as problematic, including the one on San Jose Boulevard, which was built in 1960. And that's where we caught up with Julius Dean and John Wells. I mean, we hear so much in the news about infrastructure and been hearing that for so many years. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me that, uh, you know, you may not have some in your own backyard. In North Jacksonville, along Lem Turner Road over the Trout River, this bridge was built 64 years ago in the Riverview neighborhood. It's also considered structurally deficient, and that's no surprise to Danny Haas. Dangerous. I, I'm scared every time I go over it. Now, let me take you underneath the bridge, and you can kind of see some of the problems, but when you first look at this, it looks normal, maybe a little bit of wear and tear, but look closely. You can see that there have been some supports already put up in order to make this bridge a little safer. Other bridges of concern in St. John's County at US-1 over Oyster Creek, in Bradford County on US-1 over Alligator Creek. And while the study was done by an independent group, the local DOT office doesn't dispute the findings. DOT's Hampton Ray says the bridges are inspected regularly. If a bridge is ever deemed unsafe, we'll close it immediately. The same group says 3% of all Florida's 12,000 bridges are structurally deficient. And they say that 13% of all of our roads are in poor condition. And of course, we're working to get more answers about repairs that could possibly be made. Some of these bridges, like this one here on San Jose, they could be in the five-year plan from the DOT, something that they are looking at and updating constantly as they inspect bridges and roads. We're live in Lakewood, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.